Hey, it's Couch Potato. I'm back with another video. It's been a wild year with COVID and everything, but I wanted to make a video, a little update. I've got some things in the works. I'm going to be trying to go live streaming here shortly in the next day or so. Get some live streams in of me playing games, playing games with friends, get all that stuff under control. But over the year, obviously we had COVID and everything, wild times, and got caught up with work and COVID and uh, moved into a new house here. So I wanted to show off my new gaming loft and show a couple things. Uh, made a couple changes with my collecting so I'll go over that. Uh, if you haven't already been over, I do have my website up and running now. Uh, it's still in the early phases, so not a whole lot of content up yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, right now, I'm just working on it by myself, uh, trying to get more people involved in writing articles and stuff. But my gaming news website, couchpotato.com. Same as the YouTube name, just uh, on the website. So www.couchpotato.com. Uh, gonna have that running with all the news and stuff like that. Link my YouTube channel on there, link my Instagram on there, and I'm gonna be linking my streaming on there as well. So if you haven't got over there, give it a view. Remember, it's in the rudimentary stages. So we'll be working on that, but I wanted to get it up and running. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into the game loft tour. So moved into a new house here. Figured I'd make a space that's all mine. Come up the stairs. You're greeted by Zangief and my Magic the Gathering clock that I just received in the mail from my brother as a housewarming gift. That will be getting hung over here. Haven't had a chance yet, but my Zangief statue. Then we'll go over here. And got a Kotal Khan statue. I've changed directions. I sold a lot of stuff off and I've traded in some stuff to acquire other games and get money for the move and whatnot. But I sold like all my Vita games, my whole Vita collection's gone and stuff like that. And I've just been trading and selling games. Now I'm working a little bit more on original Xbox. So I picked up some Obscure, Conquer, Live and Reloaded. Uh, my Grandia 2s are still here. My favorite series or my favorite game of all time. Well, one of them. So I'll never get rid of those two. I've got the Japanese Special Edition and the Standard. I picked up Stubbs the Zombie. Heard it's a fun game. Never really played it, but I plan to get to it. Got my Indigo Prophecies. If you've been watching my channel for a while, Indigo Prophecies is one of my favorite games ever. Um, one of the first Telltale type of games. Just really cool game. So I had to get the Collector's Edition for that. PS4. Valkyrie 4 Chronicles. And then we got Dalzine. And his statue up there. I picked up El Chavo Cart for 360. Not sure if that's in a video yet. Asterix at the Olympic Games. Trying to get those 360 games that are country or region specific. Uh, El Chavo Cart was only in Mexico from what I know. And the Asterix game was in Canada. And I got some other games. Raiden. Picked up Ultimate Alliance Gold Edition. 
the gold edition is not that common, pretty hard to get a hold of. Blitz the Leap 2, Operation Darkness. Still got my Mana Kamiya 2 PSP. I'm not going to go over every single game because that would take forever. Just kind of showing the setup that I got going on now. So I got my consoles on this side. Gears 4. Got Gears for 360. Got my uh, Star Wars. Halo. My Switch down there. I don't play Switch much, but I keep it handy with a few select games. But I'm just not a huge Switch fan. Um, I mean, it's cool for what it is, but I'm more of a console at home gamer, not on the go. So, got my Modern Warfare 3. Also have the boxes and everything for that console and the Star Wars. And then I got a standard black 360 console. Got my Death Smiles Collector's Edition. Got the Rocksmith, the real Rocksmith guitar and all the hookups. That thing is like brand new in there. I bought it off some guy. I said he bought it, played it like one time and put it all back together. It looks brand new. So nice find there. Got some of my collector's editions. Got my Ryu and Ken up there. They're pretty cool because they do the uh, sounds. So I'm gonna keep those. Those are cool. Connect, another Death Smile seal. Bunch of different figures. Collector's editions. My 360 still going strong. I've acquired some games for that as well. Um, so still going strong on that. I've got, I think a little over 500 games, five or 600 games, I don't know. I think 500, a little bit more than that. So going strong with that, with some collector's editions from that as well, or limited editions, whatnot. Like I said, I got more into uh, original Xbox collecting. So I got Brotherhood of the Steel not too long ago. Got uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, still need the first one. Uh, picked up Predator, Psychonauts, Punisher, Red Ninja. And a bunch of different stuff there. And then my small Switch and PS3 collection, PS2 collection. Sold a lot of stuff off, like I said. Prices right now are ridiculous on some of these games, so I figured why not sell them at their height when uh, I don't, a lot of the games I got rid of, I don't really care about, I don't miss them. So I figured why not get the money now? I can use it towards other stuff that I actually care about. Also, my Xbox One collection is growing be streaming some of these games for sure. My PS4 collection growing as well. And we just got, I've just switched focus, got rid of PS1 games. Um, Dreamcast games I've been holding on to uh, just cause I don't, I like the Dreamcast. We got Chun Li over here chilling, another statue, and then I got this Xbox 360 sign. Pretty stoked about it. Uh, I plan on getting it framed with lights around it and stuff like that. I'm gonna hang it right above my TV here because 360 definitely my favorite console of all time. Uh, that and the Sega Genesis, because I grew up as a kid playing Sega Genesis, but the 360 is definitely better. I've had so many hours put into 360, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's what's going on. Got more consoles over here. 
picked up that nice uh, Gears 5 console with the controller. Got the Halo Xbox 360, PS3, PS4. I have not got the new systems yet. I'll probably wait a while on those. I know they're hard as heck to get anyway, so no point in doing that. Got my got a new sound bar and a subwoofer over here. Give some extra immersion into games. And I signed up for the Game Pass. A really good deal for the money. There's my webcam for when I'm going to start streaming. But the Game Pass, definitely good for your money. A lot of games on there. A lot of different types of games on there. So there's definitely something for everyone. And all you got to do is look through it. And a lot of the games coming out for Xbox. And, you know, Bethesda now. Coming straight day one to Game Pass. So definitely worth it in my opinion I've already played a few games off of there but yeah that's all I'm not gonna make this too long I just wanted to show off my gaming loft here and then oh forgot to show this my Sonic Mania Last of Us 2 collector's edition I've not opened that yet I'm kind of torn on whether I want to open it or not because I like the little Ellie figure inside but I know the value goes down once you open it, but I might just open it anyway, whatever. Get the figure out of there. And then I picked up a new gaming couch, got my gaming laptop, which I don't, I use for Magic Arena and I was using it for Gears Tactics, but mostly for working on the website and other things on there. like. Uh, searching stuff up on the websites and like that not really using it heavily for gaming and then I got the new Turtle Beach headset and the couch is super nice it uh it's a recliner and a rocker the seats rock super comfortable couch but yeah, that's the Game Loft. I'm back. Look forward to streaming some games. Hopefully I can load them to YouTube. But I will be streaming on Twitch. And my Twitch name is Couch Potato. And the website, like I said, is Couch Potato. And I'll put it all in the description underneath the video. And um, hopefully you can head over, give it a view. And then when I'm streaming, give it a view. I plan the stream on Sundays and Mondays and maybe one night during the week. But we'll see how it goes. All right. I'll leave it at that. One love.